uh, am I gonna have to fight some raptors? Let's take a look. What do we got? We got a 108. That's bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, I'm not really in armor either, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna die. Yeah, there goes all my clothing. What is going on guys? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I'm gonna keep these videos coming. I know there's been a lot of Ark on the channel of late, but I'm having too much fun playing. We are back at the Maw. This is our sort of central home base for everybody on the server. And I'm here for one thing in particular. See all those brightly colored boxes down there? I have been told that at Christmas, um, let's spin into it. There we go. I've been told that at Christmas, somebody came along and gave everybody paint sprayers. And uh, if we're going to be doing up our base, uh, what does it say? Please take only one per person. Hmm. Shale's going to take two. That's probably a bad. Although it has been since Christmas. How many of these still have them in them? These are supposed to all have paint sprayers in them. Well, I guess some of them have been taken already. Many have been taken already, I'm sure. Uh, hey, there's one. Uh, and these make painting so much faster. Yeah, maybe I'll just take one. Okay, fine, we'll just take one. Uh, so, these make painting so much easier, and uh, I want to get the barn that we built in the last episode painted up. Uh, and I have two things that I think we're going to tackle for today's episode. One is painting the barn, the other is building a dye shop. Um, I want a spot where we can really take our time, gather up a ton of paint, ton of berries, all that sort of stuff, and um, and be able to craft all the dyes we need. If you look at this building, I painted a lot of the stone in the slate gray, and I painted a lot of the wood in navy, and I think it looks pretty good. And um, on our island, I want to take advantage of the amazing color schemes you can add to this game. I just thought I'd check here. Oh! Well, we're, we're loaded up with crossbows, so I may leave one here, but that's a pretty good... I hope I can carry all this on Squishy. Uh, can I also carry the crossbow? Ah, that's going to be pushing it. I think we're probably pushing it as is. Let's see how Squishy feels about this. Sounds good. Well, I now have a paint sprayer, guys, so I'm going to fly us back over to my island, uh, and I'll show you the dye shop work in progress. We'll finish that up, and then we'll make up some dyes for our barn and we'll paint that up too um give me a minute guys and i will be back with you all right that is your first look at the dye shop uh, i don't have any grand plans for it but what i wanted is to be able to use the ankylo uh, the one that you guys met last episode that was francis borrowed her from gore uh, and I was going to use her uh, mainly to collect stone for me. That is no longer an issue, thanks to another amazing gift. Uh, Gil, who is the guy, he's just one of the guys on the server, hooked us up with uh, Zero Two, the best zero ever. He just dropped off this. This is Shelly. I may re rename her to a Shelly of my choosing. But this is the Dodicarus. They're, uh, they're pretty cool. They can roll. Yep. Oh, and I guess the sound just keeps going. Anyway, uh, they're pretty cool. And when you compare them, the uh, the ankylo, when you gather stone with the ankylo, it's like half stone, half flint. So you're constantly emptying your um, your inventory to make room. When you gather stone with this, I'm about to show you, it's pure stone. So this is the one that is going to be going in that barn. Ready? Look at that, 479 stone, and now he's so encumbered he can't even move. Okay, fine. Shelly, you follow me, okay? And uh, we'll wander back up towards our base. Uh, now, Shelly, we are going to take over and store in the barn, and Gore is going to, uh, Gore's uh, uh, Ankylo Francis is going to come down here and uh, live in here. 
This is the future die shop. Now, one thing that I've found ankylos are pretty good for is collecting berries. Uh, they're pretty efficient at it. Uh, they don't gather fiber or anything like that. So as long as you have a stretch like this, where there's lots and lots of plants and uh, not very many trees, anything like that, you can gather tons of berries. Now we're going to need those to feed our dinosaurs, um, but we're also going to need them for dye. And uh, so with that in mind, I've built this building. It's one of the least attractive buildings I've built. It needs something off this right side. I haven't figured out what yet, but we did dual doors. And then my plan is to be able to take the uh, ankylo. Whoops, open you up. Whoop, there you go. A little bit of server lag. Not sure how I that worked. It's all good. Uh, so what I'm thinking is you go collect a bunch of berries, come right in here, right? Close the door behind you. And then I'm going to have cooking pots just like this all along here. And um, we're going to be able to make paint and dye for days. So that's the main reason I've left this building in thatch is I want it to be a testament to what a dye shop should be. So once we get a spray painter up and running and uh, oh, a dozen or so different colors of paint going, I am going to paint this thing. I'm going to technicolor it up, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll do the outside in a plain color, but the inside in technicolor, I haven't figured it out. Um, one thing that is essential when you are making dyes is water. Uh, now, at first I was using like the water bags. What do you call them? The like the wine skin to a water skin, I think it's probably called. Um, but now we're going to be using these. So I, uh, we're going to be using actual plumbing. This is the first building I've ever built. So I made these recently, water jars. They don't leak. Um, they have two uses, so you can fill your thirst twice. Um, but all you have to do is op open up this thing, throw in a water jar, boom, it's filled. So we plumbed this in. It's not the prettiest thing, I have to admit, having this line running across my beach like that, but I couldn't make it look any less ugly. So we'll just have to deal with it. And we mainly, this door is just a door for the uh, ankylo to come in and out of anyway. We're not going to be using it all that often. So what I'm thinking is I'll get a bunch of cook pots set up. Um, we'll get a, a little bit of storage in here. Uh, I'll take uh, Shelly. Maybe we'll call her Shelly Long. I did love the money pit. Uh, we'll take, yeah, we'll take Shelly up to the barn and keep her in there. Uh, we'll paint this building and we'll paint the barn. And I think that's going to be a pretty fun episode. So give me a minute, guys, and I will come back to you. Okay. There you go. Get wrecked. Get totally wrecked. Uh... We are back. We are back with uh, Francis. We're going to bring her into the dye shop for the very first time. I suppose I can show you her berry gathering abilities. Ready? Boom. 33 of Amor, 56 of Azul, a bunch more of the Tinto. Uh, she's pretty good at it, got to be honest. And this looks like about a perfect spot for her. I note that if I keep breaking some of these really close to the base, they won't respawn, but we should still have those ones over there. Um, and... Uh, I think I think we're gonna find out for sure if my little entrance works it should these gates are totally designed to work for dinos of this size so see if we can bring her in ready yes come on smooth totally can't fit her in that's cool um, okay yeah yeah I probably should have made it too wide instead of one wide okay well maybe she lives just outside the base <laughs> yeah i don't know i'll figure something out for her she doesn't even need to come in who cares uh i'll just run down here grab whatever she got tintos for days azules for days mayhos mayhos hammers and then even narcos and stimberries are good for dyes um, and with all that in mind i oh i guess she grabs seeds too hmm okay so here's our spot not much going on at the moment. I've put in a table and I've put in one cooking pot. We now have six. Yeah, I should have thought that entrance through. It's like I started building and I thought, ooh, this would be perfect if I could get her in a one wide space. I was pretty sure I could, but I guess she don't, don't want to fit up in there. It's all good. So we've got these pots going and that'll be your main, your main dye production will come from these these pots and then i think the only other things we're going to need over here i brought a mortar and pestle i think that'll be key because she can just run down break a few river rocks get a mix 
of stone and flint and spark powder, which would be the fuel for these. Uh, but to make spark powder, you need the old mortar and pestle. So we'll throw one of these on this table over here. I always like to put them on a table. I don't know why. It makes it, I don't know. People just keep them on the floor. I like them on tables. Uh, and I brought a bunch of storage because if this is going to be a die shop, you need a place to keep all your damn dyes. It's all good. So we got three there. Uh, you know what? That might be enough. I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough. As long as I can get to the mortar and pestle, I can do this. Yeah, we could have, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Shades of blue, shades of red, shades of yellow. Maybe I could even paint the three containers to match. Um, and one last try. They have, they have a weird hitbox. They're quite wide, these beasts. So I don't blame her for not wanting to squeeze through there. That's all right. Um, why don't I get going cooking some dyes? I'll gather up a... B yeah, hey, let's do it. Francis, let me hop on you. We'll gather up a bunch of berries, and uh, we'll get to work cooking some dyes, and I'll come back to you maybe when I've got a coat of paint on this. And then we'll take our uh, spray painter, and I'm going to learn the engram and craft one more, just because having two to quickly switch between is is kind of... It's kind of key. I learned that building the racetrack that I went from red to white so often I wasted a ton of paint. Uh, yeah, break it all down. I love that one. I love that animation. It's just got so much gusto, right? So I have realized a couple things. I really think I don't need more than two of these. And I kind of hate how ugly they look right now. So I may come back here and rearrange. The other thing I've realized is that we don't have time to paint this thing up this episode we'll be lucky if we can get the barn painted uh and i want to make it look good so let's see if i am light enough for now lord squishy to uh carry me we shall find out yes i am perfect so i'll take you up to the barn you guys will not have seen it since last episode we built a double decker barn uh and i suppose we still have to keep doing some work on the blacksmith uh, that is the building that's here on our right. It's all in thatch now. It's going to be almost entirely in stone when we're done. Um, so I'll have to give you guys a good tour of that. But if you just keep going past my base down the first cut through on Crags Island to the beach, then you get to the beginning of the second cut through. And this one leads up to the base of the rockier of the two hills. Oh, a raptor train there. Hopefully no high levels. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, I'll see if I can park Squishy up in the uh, the upper level, uh, and you'll see. Oh, now Shelly Long. I I I tell you, if I'm gonna rename a dino, I rename a dino. So we'll put him down in the loft. Oh, that works like a dream. I love it. You can't really get more than one up here, but it's good enough for, for him when he's here and when I'm here. Shelly, you gonna stay here? And uh, I dyed my clothes white. Uh, am I gonna have to fight some raptors? Let's take a look. What do we got? We got a 108. That's bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, I'm not really in armor either. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to die. Yeah, there goes all my clothing. I probably should have brought my armor. You're dead. Hey, what are you attacking? Get wrecked, fool. I'll, I'll kill you naked. I'll kill you naked. Get killed. Get killed. One shot. Yes. Okay. We did it. Oh. And we did it naked. Bravo, UTC. Bravo. Okay, let's get painted. Uh, I'm going to throw some... By the way, it's not that easy to make a second one, so I just borrowed a second one. I'll go return it to the mall when we're done. But I hope this brick color, it looks more orange than I thought. But, God, we are in rough shape. Okay, let's force feed ourselves some food here. And hopefully that should help. And we're just going to stay naked for the time being because I don't have time to do any better. So what you get with this sprayer is one of six options. Uh, if you hold your right trigger, you can enable them. So enable or disable number one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's how it's going to look. Now, on the outside, I, I think I want this to be everything but these sort of window pieces to be red uh, like these vertical beams I want those to be in the white so let's see if we can find actually let's hop over to the parchment colored one and we'll see I'm guessing it's three just from practice so we'll see no three okay so three is the inside which wouldn't be bad let's try five next 
Nope. I don't know what five is. Maybe there is no five. They don't all have a five. Let's try four. Nope. What's four do? Nothing. Maybe there is no four. Okay. Turn off four. Let's try two. And we'll see. Yes. So I think it's five and two. Cool. So we're going to do these in five and two. And that means let's hop over to the brick one. We're going to do uh, one, three four and six and that should you'll see how much easier this is okay that is the right color i think that's going to be good okay so let's go ahead and paint all these windows and this wall in the red here and we're gonna actually get a good look when i was painting my little skyrim inspired house that i built in the maw when i was painting that with you guys and i was painting it in the blue i was using the brush and damn did that take i was going to try and paint on camera then i started painting and went oh no we can't do this i can't make you guys sit through that okay this is going smooth so far uh, i'm gonna try and leave the stone in stone uh i think that's my my plan uh so those are wall pieces i guess we'll do the same thing on the inner wall pieces Uh, I may need to hop on old Sh Lord Squishington there uh, to actually get some of these hard-to-reach bits, but we'll see. And then I'll go over this with the white, and we'll get a, a kind of a good look at how it's going to look. And you can see the paint lasts. You can basically tell by how much paint is in that reservoir. I mean, I've got plenty to get us there. Uh, I know what we can do. Let's use... Oh, get you. Get you. Get... Oh. Watch your tail there, Shelly. Uh, let's hop on this. I can't believe I killed two raptors, including a 108 completely naked. The pike, that metal spear, it is pretty boss. Okay. Hey, get painted. Yeah, there's something... I, I actually did almost all the painting on the, the Gallimimus racetrack that we showed off. I think episode 4 and 5 in this playlist. Um, I did almost all the painting on that, and it was actually really quite... I don't know, soothing, just running up and down the racetrack because it's a, re you know, it's a repetitive process and anything repetitive, I've talked about this in Minecraft, I can get into a real rhythm with and sort of relax and enjoy myself. Um, but um, beyond that, oh, what was it? Two and five? I don't remember. Shoot, I thought it stayed locked in. All right, give it a go. That kind of worked. Uh, we have to go look outside to know for sure. The gates are an entirely different story. Those are pretty hard to paint properly. Okay. Clearly no damage is done. Uh, I think it might be two and five. Here, let's try and hit this bad boy again. Whoa. You're all red. The, your inner beams are red, too. Which I don't like. I wonder why. Is it not... Is it not two and five? Okay. Two, three? Three and five, maybe. Get painted. There we go. All right, take a look at this. Yes, I think this... Come on. Shoot. I just painted the floor on the other side of that. I must not have this down. Okay, guys, let me do some work. I'm going to finish up the coat of paint on this barn. Uh, including the big gates up there. I'll get all the hard to reach spots. I'm gonna leave the deck in wood and the stone in stone. Um, but we're gonna have a barn. Uh, I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, there is your first look at the barn. Totally finished, totally painted up. Uh, you can tell me if you think it needs more. I did go, I was a liar. I did go and add a little color to the stone, at least the top of it. Uh, I did in the parchments so that it matches the parchment of the wood. I'm not sure about the scheme I chose for the the um, gateways. They're pretty tough to paint and have it end up looking good here. Let's place you right there. Why don't you stay right there, Lord? And uh, we are completely naked, but more or less done. You can tell me if you think this place needs more paint, if you think I should paint up the ramps and the loading bay area and the pillars but for the time being i'm pretty happy with it uh lord squishy's gonna stay here for a bit as is our newest pet thanks to gil shelly now shelly long formerly of cheers for those of you and the money pit 
for those of you too uh, <laughs> too young to know that reference. Either way, uh, that's it. That's the barn, and I think I'm going to call this on an episode. I think this is the first episode I have ended uh, in the nude, or largely nude. Uh, geeks, thank you so much for watching this episode. The dye shop is complete. Not only do we have an ankylo, but we have a dodicarus. And our barn is completely painted up. I'm liking it. It looks like a barn now. It looks pretty freaking sick. Um, I hope you guys agree. Uh, and I hope you will tune in for the next episode where we will probably take on yet another building project. I haven't figured out which one yet. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I have. I think we're going to do a mobile taming pen. That's right. I'm going to build a taming pen on the back of a boat. Uh, and we're going to use it so that we can kind of lure predators right up a ramp into the taming pen. And then we'll drive the boat into the ocean so they ain't got nowhere to go. Uh, so that's what we'll work on next episode. And for this one, I'm going to leave you with this picturesque view of the barn and my nakedness. Geeks, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Alright, one there. And good. As you can see, I've now got those two little triangular pieces in place this thing looking more complete than it ever has and one more one more yes okay very simple i like it and then the last step 